So in order to do dimensional analysis, in which I start with 130 cartons, in the end, I want to be able to turn that into dollars. Now I do have some conversion factors here that are going to allow me to do that. I see that one carton equals 36 granola bars, so I can write that as one carton over 36 granola bars or, or I could flip it and take the reciprocal say 36 granola bars over one carton and likewise I could uh, make a conversion factor of this as well, that one granola bar equals $1.30. So I could say one granola bar over $1.30 or I could say $1.30 over one granola bar. Now it just becomes, which one of these ratios do I put into my grid? Now, I can see right here I have cartons, and so I'm going to pick the conversion factor that has cartons in the denominator, because I want them to cancel. So 36 granola bars, over one carton. And I like this because now I can get cartons to cancel with cartons, leaving me in granola bars. But I'm not done yet. Let's see, I still want dollars. And hey, here's a conversion factor that's going to allow me to go from granola bars to dollars. So in this conversion factor, dollars is on the bottom, but I see that granola bars is there. So I'm going to pick this one. $1.30 dollars for every one granola bar. And at this point, granola bars cancels with granola bars, leaving me in the units that eventually I want in the end. So now it comes time to do the math. So I'm going to take the very first number in my dimensional analysis grid times the very next number in my dimensional analysis grid times my very next number in my dimensional analysis grid. I'm going to divide that by this number that's in what's called the denominator times this number what's in the denominator. And now, if I solve the top, I get 604, I'm sorry, 6084. And then if I solve the bottom, I get 1. Now, if I put that in my calculator, I get a number 6084. And dollars, I need to bring this down to here. So my answer is 6084 dollars. And that is my final answer.